Hello and welcome to Applied Imagery. We are pleased to announce the release of Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2.0. From an infrastructure perspective, this is a huge release. We have upgraded the way in which Quick Terrain Modeler is compiled, which enabled us to upgrade almost every important support library that Quick Terrain Modeler draws upon. What this means to you, our users, is that Quick Terrain Modeler is far more capable in understanding coordinate systems and vertical datums and can easily convert from any coordinate system and vertical datum to any other, quickly and confidently. In addition, these upgrades support new file types and position Quick Terrain Modeler very well to add future capabilities. Let's take a closer look at some of the updates users may recognize when you use Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2. Coordinate conversion support is the most visible evidence of the infrastructure upgrades. Quick Terrain Modeler now offers true anything to anything conversion, horizontal datum, vertical, or both. Quick Terrain Modeler will evaluate the source and target coordinate system and create the appropriate transformation. There are now five ways to specify the target coordinate system using a pull down menu that includes common options, entering an EPSG code, well known text, pointing to an existing file to use as a model, or the previous manual menu system. Users of specialized or obscure or local vertical datums can download a GTX file that represents their vertical offsets if needed. Version 8.2 significantly upgrades search caching by introducing portable caches. Portable caches no longer rely on exact file paths and drive letters, enabling successful cache searches for data that may have been assigned a new drive letter or file path. Indexing in Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2 will now create a summary text report that indicates the total number of files examined as well as a per file breakdown for deeper insight into your file holdings. Another enhancement to version 8.2 is in the route planning function. We have added copy route and reverse route as context menu choices. This will enable faster route planning in situations where the exfil route uses the end portion of the infill route before it diverges to a new destination. For ATAC users, the export to ATAC function now honors subfolders upon export. For example, subfolders for checkpoints, HLZs, and more will now be exported as separate files, making it easy to turn entire layers on and off in ATAC. On the tactical button bar, you will find a new bounding box button in version 8.2. This allows users to quickly add scale rectangles into 3D scene, which among other uses expedites size screening for HLZ selection. Export improvements for display and briefing products in version 8.2 include new mechanisms for exporting to PowerPoint, which no longer requires PowerPoint to be installed on the user's computer. In addition, PowerPoints generated from the profile, travel route, and cross-section window are exported at double the previous resolution. Additionally, PowerPoints can also be exported as a PDF format. Lastly, lists of markers can be exported directly as a Microsoft Excel file. Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2 also adds support for two new vector formats, GeoJSON and OSM. These are geospatial formats that are used for large-scale vector representations of things like city-wide building footprints and road networks. Quick Terrain Modeler will automatically crop the import of larger GeoJSON and OSM files to the extents of the loaded data. For users of LAS data, Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2 adds significant new support such as the ability to import and export LES 1.4 extra attributes. The number of extra attributes per point is now shown in the file info display. What this new capability means to Quick Terrain Modeler users is that they can now add and interpret custom attributes, embed them in their data, and share it with other users. The example shown here has an added tree number attribute in the LES file, enabling Quick Terrain Modeler to discreetly filter and color individual trees in the model. Lastly, Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.2 now reads LES 1.4 point formats 9 and 10. The AGL Analyst function was also improved in version 8.2, including the ability to better handle external models when the external model coordinate system doesn't match the loaded data. Additionally, we added the option to select Loaded Model as the ground source. Wrapping it up, Quick Terrain Modeler has updated its support libraries across the board. The upgrades include those shown here. Whether you're new to Quick Terrain Modeler or a seasoned user, we hope you'll enjoy using version 8.2. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching.